My name is Mary, and um, I want to share with you a way to begin a meditation practice. So if you're new to meditation, um, it won't be very elaborate. It's going to be very basic, and it'll get you going as a good way to calm the mind. So one of the main things you want to do when you come to do your meditation practice is begin to shut out all the noise um, from the rest of your life. We want to minimize the input in through our five senses. So try to find a space that's quiet, away from your computer, turn your cell phone off, and, and as best you can. There's no such thing as perfect silence. So you want to find a comfortable seat. That's your position, the, the way you're going to connect to the earth. If you can sit upright in a cross-legged position, great. If that's not comfortable, I wasn't comfortable when I first started meditating sitting like this for very long, then don't do it. You can sit up against a wall and rest your back. You can sit up on a rolled up mat or a couple of folded blankets. You can sit in a chair and have your two feet flat on the floor, okay? So uh, find a seat that works for you and you can also do a variation of all the things I just suggested. And so, assuming you're in a cross-legged seat, you want to lift the spine tall, and we're going to use the breath to begin to calm the mind. So, rest the palms of your hands on your knees, and close your eyes, and bring your attention to the tailbone at the base of your spine. Just imagine, with your mind's eye, you're going to look at the tailbone at the base of your spine. When you breathe in, you're going to draw the breath up the back of the spine. You're going to try to follow the path of your breath as it moves up the back of the spine. And you want to bring the breath to the third eye point. So approximate the center of your forehead in between the eyebrows. Just imagine where that space is approximately with your eyes closed. And when you breathe out, you're going to draw the breath from that third eye point down the front of the spine. We refer to it as the front passage, moving back to the tailbone. So whenever you breathe in, you're drawing a full breath, moving up the back of your spine from tailbone to midbrain. Whenever you breathe out, you're following the breath down the front of the spine as it moves from midbrain back to the tailbone. Your eyes are closed, and you're trying to feel an energetic lifting at the pelvic floor. That's something called Mula Bandha. See if as you're drawing the breath in and up the back of your spine, and try to keep your eyes closed as best you can, if you can hear your breath make a sound, it's going to help you. It's going to be a better tool to quiet the mind. Same thing as the breath moves down the front of the spine. See if you can listen to your breath make a sound. So you're following the breath as it's orbiting around the spine, inhaling, moving up the back, exhaling, moving down the front passage from midbrain to tailbone. And after maybe 10 to 12 breaths, drawing up the back passage, down the front passage. You're going to take your index finger and you're going to try to keep your eyes closed, right? Touch the tip of your tongue with your index finger and then press firmly on the center of the forehead. You're guesstimating the center of the forehead with that index finger and then release that right hand back down to the right knee. See if you can feel coolness on that dot of saliva as the air meets that dot of saliva. And from that place, you're moving back inside your skull about two and a half, three inches. Eyes closed. See if you can get a sense of this vast space inside the skull. You're making a transition back now to the breath that naturally occurs, your involuntary breath. Take your time as you make that transition. And then trying your best to keep your awareness on this third eye point. Notice that you're observing your thoughts. You're the witness or the observer, that you're separate and apart from your thoughts. And then see if you cannot overly engage with your thoughts. If possible, see if you can float beyond your thoughts, thinking of nothing. No thing in particular. You're going to sit here as long as you comfortably can, maybe a minute, maybe five minutes. The perfect time to sit and meditate is 18 minutes. You might want to set a timer for that. And the way I know that I've moved beyond my thoughts is when I find myself watching them again. 
and then I gently try to float beyond them. Remember, we're perfect already. So just sit and be for a few moments. If you feel your legs begin to fall asleep, feel free to unfold your legs. Feel free to lie down flat. Try to keep your eyes closed so that you can stay more introspective, more withdrawn. Free to sit here longer if that's what you desire. But I'm going to talk you through the transition back, how you would come out of your meditation. You're going to lower your chin towards your chest, releasing the back of your neck, and you're going to bring the palms of the hands to touch. Maybe separate the hands ever so slightly and see if you can feel the heat, maybe some moisture, the skin puffing. That's from the prana, the life force you form when you move into your stillness. And then place the palms over your forehead and eyes and let that healing heat penetrate through. Draw your hands down below your jaw. Bring your hands to the back of the neck, massaging out the back of the neck. Stack your hands on your throat and the order doesn't matter. And draw a nice smooth line down the chakra line, down the center of the body. As you come above the, right above the pubic bone, apply a little pressure to help draw the energy down to ground it. And then see if you can run your hands out over your legs. And see if you can give the soles of the feet a firm squeeze. Your eyes are still closed. Now with your chin in towards your chest, open up your eyes, bringing back your sense of sight. And then gradually take the room back in. Maybe first you'll notice the color, maybe the textures. And then as you ease your chin up parallel to the floor, bringing the rest of the room back in and finishing your meditation practice. I like to bring my palms back together. I like to take two, stack two fists and bring them down to the floor and rest my forehead on the fist to bring some more blood back to the frontal lobe. And then ease yourself back up and your meditation is complete. Namaste.